Welcome back viewers. As we're all aware, in agriculture, there's this difficulty with waste disposal. But what we need to know is the magnitude of waste we're talking about. And after having an understanding and appreciation for that magnitude, then the next thing to follow is what steps are necessary, what can we do to actually utilize this waste in a way without causing a disturbance or a change in the environment without causing a smell nuisance and um, which can actually irritate neighbors. So what I'm about to discuss is a relevance to agriculture and I do hope that it is informative enough to guide you. Waste disposal is a big issue in agriculture and as we attempt to consider ways in disposing of our waste we must remember as an average, a dairy cow produces roughly 82 pounds of manure daily per 1,000 pound body weight, which is equivalent to 14.96 uh, ton, um, tons per year. Now with this in mind, we must remember also that the manure that we are talking about, they come in basically many forms. For example, you have the liquid manure, um, which contains roughly 4% solid and can be handled with the use of um, irrigation pumps spread out across the farming beds for the purpose of fertilizing the fields. Then there is a situation where we have slurry manure which contains up to 4 to 10 percent solids and these two can be utilized using special pumps uh, for handling. Now there is a situation where we have solid manure and these contain roughly 20 percent solid content or more these manures are usually stocked and kept in piles. And what they would do is, um, as time go by, they would utilize these manure in fields where they would actually plow these manure into the field, incorporate it into the soil to boost the plant, um, the nutrient level within the soil to boost the plant growth. Now what we're about to discuss is ways by which this waste disposal problem um, can be reduced to some extent if we use the following interventions um, that is to follow. Because if we practice these things and we can be able to reduce the amount of um, air pollution, uh, smell pollution and the difficulties that we have with neighbors on a daily basis to ensure that we keep within the confines of the Environmental Protection Agency and secure our livelihood at all times. So pay keen attention to this video. A good way to practice proper waste disposal is by the use of a compost heap. But the compost heap must be so situated that it has a shed or a cover and it allows for compartmentalization whereby it allows for turning. If you'll observe, you will see that there are four compartments in this compost area. And so what is going to happen is that there is a separation area inside each one of them, which will allow for turning of the material um, once weekly. Now, the reason for the shed is that should there be any rain that will happen, um, the rain in itself will cause the material to um, further exacerbate the smell and so by putting on a shed over the roof it prevents that smell nuisance that could actually result in disturbance to the neighborhood or the area around which you live so and then at the same time with this composting there are pipes that are in place there you can't see because of the distance but there are pipes in place there that actually takes out the methane gas and so if you push your hand actually into that material it will burn you a bit because of the fact that it's disintegrating. So it is a very good way and I encourage farmers to utilize composting. And what will happen too is that at the time of harvesting of this compost material, they will actually either put it on the, if it been cured after eight weeks, they will either put it in the soil, um, in, in, incorporate it into the soil, or they will put it around plants depending upon the level of curing. And what they will do each cubicle will be removed by way of um, tractor 
so that you can take it to different fields or different areas within uh, specified times. And so with this, it becomes much, much easier. Now, the takeaway from this is that if we practice uh, proper techniques of waste disposal, then this difficulty of waste management would be eliminated because we'll have proper ways of disposing of our waste. This slurry pit is 10 feet long by 10 feet wide by 8 feet deep. What happens here is the particles that have been washed down through the drain are heavy enough to go down because of the density and it's displaced and remains at the bottom settled and during that process the breakdown of the particles occur but because of the weight of the feces the water that is in the slurry pit um, is displaced and so it flows down through the drain and it eradicates the process of smell. So this is a very simple and unique process to use on any farm. A very good alternative in controlling or having some amount of control over waste disposal is with the use of a biogas digester where the uh, fecal matter is placed into big uh, containers, reservoirs and the gas through fermentation, the methane gas, um, propane gas actually, is being derived for the purpose of cooking. And if you utilize this system was once utilized previously in the past, it has worked fine. And so it is a good system to try out again, the biogas digester. And in these times where we are moving into the um, low carbon um, strategy, what we need is to utilize these resources and cut back on the use of um, other types of gas, like the cooking gas. And this in itself is a saving for the farmer and even for us who utilize this service. Um, when it was used, it could have lasted probably three, four weeks of cooking at the same time. And so it prevents the same smell problem that would have been experienced by the farmers it actually reduces that smell problem and it provides an alternative at the same time to save money because this fuel that is generated can be used um, to do activities on farm as well as in our homes. So the use of the biogas digester should not be downplayed but it's something that we should consider for those farmers who can. You do not have to use this type of modular design um, where you store the material, yeah, it's a little bit laborious, but at the end of the process, you will save because one, you will cut back on the smell that is ever prevalent, and two, you will be able to save on money because you will not have to spend money to purchase the gas that is usually required um, for your daily um, living. And so if you use these methods that I've listed for you guys, then the fight with um, smell pollution, the, sm the fight with um, the problems of waste disposal, um, we may not be able to eradicate totally, but we can be able to control to a great extent on our farm or on other farms as we share information that I share with you guys so that you can create these structures to actually help in the fight against pollution and be smart.